Imagine a community that is no longer reliant on fossil fuels, but rather a place that draws all of its energy from renewable sources. What was once imagination has become a reality for a few communities on our planet, while others are striving to reach the goal of going 100% renewable. Along this theme, Woodstock Hydro and the Woodstock Chamber of Commerce recently hosted a Sustainable Energy Expo. The expo brought experts in their field from solar PV to biofuel, wind energy, energy storage and others all under one roof for residents to learn about smart technologies and ask questions in a personal setting. Guest speakers included Dr. Jose Echeverri from York University's Environmental Studies program. Dr. Echeverri has traveled the world working with communities who have boldly gone towards becoming 100% renewable. Dr. Echeverri says the first step is making a plan. You need to know where is your energy coming from? Where is it going? You need to have a baseline to be able to know exactly what percentage of your current uh, energy comes from renewable energy, even if it's zero. Um, if it's 2%, it doesn't matter. But then you develop a plan that you will grow that base on a monthly, yearly, decadal base. But the point is that it is feasible to store renewable energy in a number of ways, and I'll show you a couple of ideas about that. Dr. Echeverry's speech in Woodstock comes at a time when the city is embarking on a municipal energy plan. One of the first communities in Ontario to get approval and funding to start the plan, Chief Administrative Officer David Creary says the municipal energy plan will be a year to 18 months in the making. This is a tremendous undertaking and uh, it is going to take some time. Every home, every business, every store, every church, the energy use for the entire community, uh, including the electricity, the uh, natural gas usage, as well as the fuel usage in the city. And what we will attempt to do is to document on a citywide scale that energy usage and develop base mapping, heat mapping, so to, so to speak, uh, that identifies areas where energy usage is greater. The ultimate goal of the Municipal Energy Plan is to find ways to conserve and to harness energy flows to serve the needs of all citizens. Uh, that can be through conservation programs, it can be through the introduction of additional renewable energy uh, sources in the community. And so this is a very big picture, broad scale uh, view of the entire community. I also say that sustainability is a coin that has two sides. In the one side it's renewable energy, on the other side it's efficiency and conservation. It doesn't matter how much money you have. The first thing you can do is look at how you use energy in your home, in your business, and try to lower the amount of electricity and energy that you need. Dr. Echeverry shared his equation for reaching 100% renewable. Find efficiencies, plus saving money, plus reinvesting those savings into renewable energy equals sustainability and prosperity. I encourage people to, to do this. I mean, it's a very nice example for, your, for yourself um, and also for your descendants. Your family will appreciate that you're investing on their future.